Hey, day 17 of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Uh, today we are continuing our little mini series about different attacker motivations. Uh, and today we're going to talk about, you know, the, the most common probably, or the one at least we're most familiar with if we're dealing with the small business space, and that is the financially motivated attackers. So when we talk about financial motivation, we're talking about people who not necessarily being paid to attack, but people who are attacking to then get profit. Um, most commonly right now, that's in the form of ransomware, but it could also be stealing like, um, you know, private inv or personal information like credit cards, social security, and selling that off to people so they can steal identities or commit fraud with it. Um, ransomware being easily the most prevalent threat uh, to most businesses right now uh, because it's super profitable. So if you're financially motivated, it's a great way to make some money. Um I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite tools when we start talking about these, and that's the MITRE ATT&CK um, framework or the MITRE ATT&CK website. Uh, they have a cool framework. We'll dig into it in a couple of uh, videos in the future. But today we're going to look at their groups section. So when we start talking about um, attacker motivations, we're really talking about generally like advanced persistent threat groups. So these are either groups based on their activity or groups based on actual being groups of people. Um, and you can use MITRE's website to sort of look for this stuff. So if you were wondering which groups were financially motivated, you can see I kind of typed in the search there. But you can do a search and see, okay, who's involved in financial and economic activity? Uh, of all the groups noted, there's 31 where financial pops up. It could be, you know, cyber finance stuff, stealing PII, um, financial sector. So they're going after banks specifically. Uh, but you'll also see some ransomware stuff in here, probably, if you wanted to search for ransomware. You can see those types of things. Um, so super good resource when resource if you're interested in what kinds of groups exist out there and what their sort of MO is. Um, some of them have cool names. Some just have numbers. Um, you know, Aquatic Panda. We have Fancy Bear is a big one that's in here somewhere. Uh, there's all kinds of names here. But check out the website. Uh, but back to financially motivated attackers. So for them, it's all about the money. It's a business. And because ransomware is so profitable, um, it's genuinely become a business. There was a log leak a bit back that uh, Krebs on security uh, on his blog put a good breakdown apart, uh, breakdown on. But uh, it talks about the log leak from the Conti ransomware gang, which I've talked about a few times. But within their, their internal logs, when they leak, they found that it's much like any other mundane business. You have people who are coders, they have testers, they have administrators and reverse engineers and pen testers and hackers. Um, they have managers that people <laughs> complain about, a person named Mango and a person named Stern. Um, Stern is apparently not super well-liked because he's kind of micromanagey. Uh, but you can see in their logs that they're like everybody else out there doing their job, except they're building malware that steals from other companies. Um, but this is why they're so hard to stop. It's the only way you end stuff like this is you ruin the business case, right? So until businesses can raise their level of security to make it much harder to attack and much harder for these ransomware uh, gangs to be successful, they're going to keep doing it. Uh, one of the stats I read was showing that I think in 2021, they estimate somewhere like $1.3 billion in ransom was paid. Uh, and that only represents about 30% of what was asked for. So, you know, one third of the time that's been reported even uh, we're paying it. And that's in the billions now. And that's a lot of money. That means that I mean, that pays for a lot of malware, that pays for a lot of these coders, these testers. And obviously, there's going to be organized interest. It's not just, you know, a rogue little script kitty who learned how to fish and, and is sending you some trick bot malware or something. It's, it's somebody out there making an organized effort at scale to turn a profit. And that's why it's so scary currently and why it's such a big threat. Uh, so that's your financial motivated uh, attacker. Definitely the one probably closest to the top of most businesses list of threats right now. So uh, be on the lookout, defend your networks, practice good cyber hygiene, implement your user awareness training so they know what phishing looks like. Make sure you have good backups and disaster recovery. Those are the way you defend your, defend your network against financial attackers. Uh, it's just about money. So you just have to make it hard enough that it's not worth the payout. Um, and, th and that's your defense. Make them move on. Uh, happy uh, day 17 and good luck, everyone.